So this is going to be almost personal reading uh, for the next 72 hours. All that I need to know. This is not science specific. This is uh, going to relate to people who consider themselves into twin flame or a soulmate connection, regardless of their sign. Okay. So let's start. First three cards for you, and then we move to your person. By the way, we have an announcement. I have just started a new page by the name of Divine Tarot Messages on Instagram. I'll be posting a lot of such videos. If you are a part of Instagram, come and follow us. So yeah, let's begin. So what are you guys going through? I hope December is treating you well. Okay, it's six of pentacles. Many of you guys feel like this person had been breadcrumbing you or there was lack of balance in this connection. You literally felt like you were begging for bare minimum, okay? And now you have that realization, okay? In the past, you thought that they were doing their best they could and they were give, giving to the connection, but now you see it for what it is, okay? But no card. With four of swords right now there might be lack of communication okay like uh, I, I, either there is no communication at all or there is a very less communication okay what else do we see for you with three of swords many of you guys could, could be going through a separation as well okay uh, you are not connected to them you feel uh, like you guys are separated if, even if there is communication happening you don't feel that connect now you feel like things are not like they used to be okay this person would have hurt you by doing things saying things or by lack of action okay so overall for the relationship what's happening for the next 72 hours one card for the energy please nine of swords i don't see things going very very well when it comes to relationship you guys are going to be overthinking a little okay uh I don't know but I see you being a little stressed out feeling a little heartbroken trying to heal yourself hold yourself back but that isn't helping some some of you guys might even be distracting yourself uh, by interacting with someone new but that isn't helping clearly it isn't okay in terms of your person what are they going through star card this person is focused on themselves okay uh, like they are trying to be the best version uh, of themselves they are trying to work hard or they are trying to prove to um, their own uh, whatever family friend circle that they are really doing well for uh, you know like when it comes to their career their finances overall life uh, but i see this person extremely self obsessed self absorbed okay um, and they are very very selfish at this current time okay like me 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 that is what is going on okay what else do we see for you? What's your person up to? The strength card, this person is clearly holding back. They are not interacting with you or they are not initiating any sort of conversation. They are not around. Okay. Why is that? So what's the major blockage? Three of Wands. For some of you, this person could have moved elsewhere. I'm not saying uh, in in terms of another person. I'm just saying that they are trying to look or focus elsewhere. Okay. Uh, some of you, it could it, it could be work related that your person is focused on their finances or they are possibly focused on uh, you know where their financial life is going or their career is going. Okay. Uh, I also see some of your partners having to travel elsewhere, so they are much more focused there. Okay. What else do we see as blockage? With Page of Swords, this person is majorly focused on holding back. They are not focused on interacting with you. They are rather uh, playing the, uh, like, uh, like they are, they, are, they are rather going to be defensive than be interactive. That's what I'm trying to say, okay? In terms of how do they think about you, you know? We have the empress they, i mean like it's it's so funny you know like they know your worth they know what you bring to them they know what you are to them but yet after all that they they choose to stay where they are okay uh, some of you this you might not know but this person could be traveling at this current time okay uh, with ace of swords they do keep a watch on you they do ha 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 keep a track on you your social media you might not be knowing they might be having a fake account okay in terms of uh, how do you think about you now With Ace of Wands, they've still got that fire for you. Okay, now you might be screaming out loud saying if they've got that fire, why do they not take action? 
I will have to ask a person that, right? But whatever that is, I I still feel that these two cards are very good cards. Ace of Wands, the Emp uh, the Empress. It's all about them connected to you at the same time behaving like they are not behaving unbothered behaving uh, not responsible okay one card for what do they have in mind when it comes to you five of wands see darling i i see this being a ego clash more than uh, anything else uh, it was an argument you guys could have said something done something many of you guys could have triggered them or uh, doing something or saying something or not doing something okay and that is that that has led to the silence okay i know it's very narcissistic of them to do this but it is what it is right with five of wands i see this person you know uh holding on to their ego you know like wanting to prove themselves uh something i don't know like they are gonna they believe that you're gonna be the one who's gonna be returning or you're gonna be the one who's in, gonna be interacting initiating and they are waiting on that they are wanting to prove themselves right okay it's it's the ego game it's the e ego clash okay in in terms of what do they want to offer you this time or, or what do they want to have with you this time have the tower like what does the tower mean they i mean they do want changes no doubt in that okay but what sort of changes are they looking forward to see i'll be very straightforward even even if this person comes forward i do not i repeat i do not see them wanting to have a commitment or wanting to uh, you know like be a equal part of the connection they are still going to come off uh, a very much uh, unbothered un unresponsive uh, you know like uh, very much detached okay tower is not a ca good card when it comes to offering it is just going to be sexual okay i see a lot of fire okay i see a lot of passion uh, five of wands ace of wands tower all all are about sexual energy okay with nine of pentacles they are uh, it's like i want to be a part of you uh with like without having to be uh you know like like promising you about commitment or possibly looking forward to a relationship no they are not going to want that okay it's just going to be casual that's what they are looking forward to truth be told okay when it comes to their feelings feelings that's the funny part man we have two of cups they are still extremely emotionally connected to you okay one more card in terms of the heart space hearts will be two of swords truth be told they are not wanting to feel all those feelings for you it triggers them it bothers them they look at having emotions for someone as weakness okay like a weak point or a weak spot okay but two of swords they they try to not get emotional with you or with, uh, when it comes to you your 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 energy your thoughts okay when it comes to the head space head space also they they miss you okay like uh, do like do we see your active third party spirit was a star at the start two of swords now like do we see a third party spirit wheel of fortune it is more like work versus love life i don't see much being a uh, third party okay truth be told i do not it could be i'm not saying it won't it's just that i don't see it okay in terms of uh, their intentions now intention now is to come back to you that's for certain to be a part of you but are they going to be uh, initiating it or they wanting to initiate it oh uh, they are they are kind of thinking about it they haven't uh, had any plans as to when they should be coming or when they will be coming okay they are still uh, having mixed thoughts about it okay so what can you guys expect with ace of cups i do believe by the end of wednesday that is i don't know like 13 14 15 like 15th of december till then there are good chances that this person 
if you do not reach out might want to reach out but i don't see them like reaching out today or tomorrow okay they are rather waiting on you okay uh, with the death card i say changes when it comes to the long term or long term the short term outcome okay like death is about change death is not all, like always about ending okay death sometimes make means change transition okay uh, old cycles are clearing and new cycles beginning okay one card that you need to look forward to One card you need to look forward to is five of pentacles. Do not overgive because they do not deserve it. They only deserve it when they are equally given. If it's like 60, 40 or 70, 30, you guys need to rethink. Okay, I, I think your connection is majorly like 80, 20. To be very honest. Okay. With the Hierophant, this connection has, has, has been like a lesson, like a huge lesson, like a catalyst in your life that has helped you possibly change a lot of ways in your life, change a lot of things in your life, okay? It has made you wiser or uh, you, you want to uh, accept it or not. Okay, with the Sun card, I also believe that right now, many of you guys, um, you know, will get attention from this individual with the sun is usually attention okay top card we have is nine of wands the problem is both are playing the victim mentality they are like you know this person hurt me and you're like dude this person has been hurting me i know it i've been reading for you right but your person has uh, been uh, wanting to find an excuse by saying that you have said something done something that has led to the silence i am not responsible that is how they're taking it okay one card of advice for you guys Queen of Pentacles, that is focus on yourself. You do not have to focus on your partner. You do not want or you, sh you shouldn't be wanting someone to feel completed or feeling happy. One person giving you attention doesn't have to be the reason behind your happiness. That is fucked up. Okay. If it's al always going to be like, you know, if that person is not part of me, I'm going to be remain unhappy. That is you having codependency on, on, on someone. That is you, uh, you know, like depending on someone for uh, feeling in a certain way. If you, if, 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 if you give that power to someone for making you happy or, or, or to be feeling, making you feel in a certain way, then you're basically losing on yourself. Okay. It is you who's, who is supposed to make yourself happy, sad, miserable. <laughs> uh, yeah. They are, they are only going to make you feel or trigger you okay they are only going to trigger you to be pushing in a certain direction or wanting to do something that you otherwise wouldn't have done that is their role okay but don't give them a superpower of making you feel in a certain way okay to some extent you need to have boundaries that is what i'm trying to say one kind of advising in terms of what you need to do uh, in terms of action With Seven of Cups, you guys need to think it through. The confusion is only going to mess you up. So sort that confusion out. Think what matters and what doesn't. Think of the long term. If you do this, how is that going to go? If you do not do this, how is that going to go? But do not go for short term happiness. That is going to ruin your 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 life. If, if you chase them right now, it's just going to be like you're feeding their ego. You know, it's, it's like you're feeding the fucking devil. Okay, so do not do that. Do not feed the devil okay uh, one card for how do they see you now page of cups they, they, they still believe that you have feelings for them they know that you have shit but they do not know how much okay in terms of what do they think they uh, you want from them now four of pentacles they feel like you, um, I don't know, like, it's like the energy is very possessive. It's very controlling, okay? Uh, you want them to hold on to you and uh, they think you also want, uh, you know, the, like, how do I put it in words? It's 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 basically like they, 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 they want a stable connection, okay? Uh, you think they want a stable connection and they also think that what you are expecting from them is stability, if if that sounds right, okay? Something that they could hold on to, okay? Uh, a, a part of them al already knows that you are waiting for them to reach out, okay? So one card for how do they view the connection now?
knight of wands for many of you this this person has always looked at this relationship as uh how do i put it like a casual one or, or something that is based on sex intimacy you know uh fun happy uh, i won't say happiness like rather on an 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 impulse they have never wanting to look at it from an emotional point of view even though they have shit for you even after that they are still wanting to focus on in into looking at this connection as sexual as um casual okay so in terms of what do they think uh, is responsible uh, for the silence queen of cups someone was too emotional someone said something done or did something or someone was expecting too much okay and they think that is responsible i think they are they are basically uh, blaming you like you are very emotional sensitive and whatever and you did this and you did that you know your something about that okay with king of pentacles you wanted stability and they were not wanting to offer that so you might have basically had your swords up said something that something which is uh, which is fine to be honest that is that is understandable you know so yeah that is it with judgment card you do not need to do anything you just need to stay focused on yourself focusing on yourself will uh, give you a lot of uh, peace in 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 life it's like you are expecting uh, positive things from this devil the devil needs to change for better okay so one card let's take what do you need to know this person in the past were uh, broke free they were not ready for this connection okay like they were never ready like into wanting to build uh, something with you okay triggered freaked out mad angry okay that is what is the second message triggered freaked out mad at you angry okay uh, last we have for you is uh, wear and tear to painful drama this connection has been that you know up and down always uh, uh, you know like it 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 gets better than it gets better you know like uh, if you guys move forward towards uh, the good then you, this person takes two steps back and makes it even worse you know so yeah i hope that makes sense i i didn't did not think it through uh, in the past this the this person was just wasting your time and you know you were still entertaining them and that all that 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 always made them feel in a certain way you know sometimes they might also be having that uh, like what is it called you know like that weird feeling of that guiltiness that they are wasting your time you are s- someone who's madly openly giving uh, themselves everything sometimes they even question themselves do they even uh, like deserve what you are offering okay this is a fucking long reading yeah the uh, second card we have for you is bad person immature fake mind games drama that is your person basically okay uh, last we have is change your love life will change that is a near outcome not the long term outcome but yes i personally feel the love life is going to change by 15th or the 16th of december you can expect a message that is if you do not reach out if you do reach out the person is going to possibly be replying to you within a day or two okay but if you do not i see it happening around 16th of december okay that is all and if you guys want a personal reading do reach out on the website and book one for yourself i have like a lot of options out there uh, there's also a discount code going till the 15th of december end of the season sale okay and uh, i i'm on instagram now i'm going to be posting a lot of uh, your person messages that is uh, about my person and uh, twin flame messages so please come and follow us on uh, divine tarot messages okay on instagram i'm going to be putting the link below but if, you can also find that shit on instagram in the search section okay divine tarot messages okay so yes that is all and i hope to see you on instagram if you have followed me you can just dm me a hi okay and if we are in a good mood we could just uh, freaking uh, discuss your relationship okay so see you soon man cheers